Hi guys. All right. So we are going to um, do the watercolor for this week. Um, so what I've decided to do is we're going to do kind of a rainbow background and I'll show you how that's going to work in just a second. And then uh, we're going to put a tree in the middle of it. Um, it's not going to be, it's going to be more of a tree with branches. It's not going to have as much as far as the leaves and stuff go. And you'll see why um, once we get there. Okay, so first thing you want to do, always the first thing that you want to do before you start watercoloring is make sure you've got everything set up. So I've got my watercolor paper. I have a paint board. I know you guys don't. I'm sorry. Um, I couldn't send those home. Um, but find a place that's going to be, you know, safe to do this so you're not going to make a big mess if something happens, okay? Uh, I have all my colors set out, so I've got my yellow, my red, my blue. Now's the time to check and see if you need to add more color into, or I'm sorry, more water into one of your colors if you're kind of low on water. Mine look pretty good, so I'm going to just keep it the way it is. Um, and then, of course, you need to have your water so you can wash your brush. Um, and then the very first thing that I am going to do, oh, also, I have a napkin underneath my uh, colors so that uh, I can dry my brush off uh, in between stuff. And then also, so if anything spills, it's going to get sucked up in that towel and not be all over the place. All right, uh, first thing you always want to do is make sure that your brush is clean. So I'm pretty sure it is because I washed it last time, but it's always a good idea to check because you don't want to mess up your watercolor. Um, because it's not clean. I uh, am looking at the water. It is nice and clear, so I think we are good to go. All right. First things first. We are, because we are going to be blending our colors in the background, we're going to do wet on wet today. So I'm going to use my brush to wet my background first with the water. If you went to wash your brush and there was paint on it and your water is not clear anymore, you need to take a minute and go uh, get clear water, okay? All right, so I'm going to just sort of quickly put a layer of water down. Don't make this super, super soaking wet because if you do that, uh, you're gonna end up with curled paper and it's gonna be very hard. <laughs> but since we are gonna be doing a bunch of blending today, we're gonna need to make sure that our paper is wet because with watercolor, the water is going to, of course, um, uh, it's gonna do a better job of blending if it is if it's got somewhere to blend into, okay? All right, so I have a wet background now. We are gonna start with the lightest color, the way we always do, which is gonna be our yellow, and we're gonna start with our yellow up in this corner. So I'm gonna just, in there one more time, I'm gonna dry it off a little bit over here before I dip into my yellow. I don't want a ton of yellow. Um, I'm not gonna go all the way to the bottom to grab pigment. Uh, and I don't think there is any anyway, because I did a really good job of mixing my colors before I started today. So you kind of want to make sure that your colors are nice and mixed too, okay? If you haven't done that already, go ahead and do it before you get started here. So we're going to do our yellow here. I'm going to start, it's going to kind of end up being sort of a, not a box of yellow, but it's going to sort of end up being kind of a triangle of yellow right here. Uh, you're going to want to pull the yellow down about halfway and you're going to want to pull the yellow over about halfway and actually no, we're going to do the yellow all the way across the top. So pull it down about halfway and then all the way across the top and you will see why in a little while. Uh, notice that I am not going to go completely halfway down this page and you will see why in a few minutes. All right. You'll be able to mess with this a little bit more later, so if it's not perfect, don't worry about it right now. All right, uh, I am done with yellow right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my brush. I'm gonna go over here and make sure that I don't have a bunch of yellow coming off. Um, all right, I have red next right here, so we're gonna go ahead and do red. Uh, I'm gonna dip my brush in. You don't wanna stick it all the way to the bottom, remember, tap the side so it's not super wet, because we already wet our page. All right, and I'm gonna start down in this bottom corner with the red. And we're gonna do, start here. Don't go up into your yellow yet because we don't wanna start mixing colors until we've got the red in here completely. So we're gonna do red here. And we're gonna pull red over halfway. You will see why in a little while. I'm gonna leave a little open spot right here in the middle. Um, we'll cut, we'll, it'll, It'll end up colored in in a little while, but 
I'm gonna do it that way right now. All right, so I've gone about halfway over, I got a little more red here, about halfway over here. All right, now we are going to start mixing some colors. So we're gonna mix our red and our yellow together first, which is going to make orange. Oops, oh no, get that off of there. Uh, you may find that as we do this, some of your page is drying a little bit. If you need to go back and add some water to your page in between this, go ahead, like go for it. Uh, I'm going to try to pull some yellow down in here into this red because I don't want to take my red all the way up because I don't want all that to be orange because this right here is going to be our yellow spot. We need to leave this yellow. Okay. All right. So it is looking like I'm going to need a little more yellow in here. So I am going to wash my brush first. And then don't worry if some of this is drying already. It's okay because we can always add water to it or we can add more color. All right, now that my brush is washed, I'm gonna get a little yellow here and I'm gonna bring it in here and I, yep, there we go. I'm starting to get my orange now. Remember, you only want this middle section to be orange though. Don't completely obliterate your yellow and your red with this orange. Ooh, that's a pretty color orange today too. All right, I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. Oh man, I keep splattering my paint. Be careful with that, guys. And you can use, I just used my finger, but you can use a rag um, to clean that up. All right, I'm liking this orange, so I'm gonna leave it the way it is, okay? All right, I'm gonna clean, oops, there's a little red on that corner. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brush here. And we are a little cat here in here. Now that my cats are up on this desk all the time, it happens. All right, I'm gonna go over here and clean this and we are going to go into blue next. So since my brush is clean, I'm gonna grab my blue. We're gonna start blue in this corner down here and blue is gonna get pulled into the red and into the yellow up here, okay? So my blue is probably a lot lighter than your blue. I should have added some more to it. Remember, we're going to paint this whole blue section here before we start mixing our colors because we want this to be our completely blue section. And you probably guessed, but our red and our blue are going to mix here and our blue and our yellow are going to mix here. So by the end of this, we're going to end up with yellow, orange, red, blue, and green because we're going to mix this up here, okay? But again, we want to make sure that we get our blue the way we're happy with it before we start mixing our colors, okay? It seems natural to mix this um, red into this blue first. I want my red section to stay kind of this big because blue is going to pull up a little farther here. So I'm going to go ahead and put paint this blue up here too. Uh, since the blue has pulled a little farther up into this yellow and this part right here is going to be green, I want to pull my red over into my blue rather than my blue into my red because we don't have a whole lot of red over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my brush really quick and I am going to get some more red and I'm going to make this section right here purple rather than go into my red. But we need to clean our brush first and then I want to make sure that the water is as clean as you can get it and I'm going to grab red and start right here. See if I can get a pretty purple. Remember, you don't want to paint all the way into your blue because um, you need to leave some blue here. All right, so this is going to be our purple here. It sort of makes sense to pull it a little into the red, so I'll do that. I think I need a little more blue in this purple, to be honest. So I am going to wash my brush. And I'm going to dip back into my blue so that I can get a little more color here. Just a little. I'm going to dab on the edges quite a bit because I don't want to pull too much blue in here because then I'll just be going back and forth between blue and red. Ha, there we go. That's a much better purple color. All right. Be careful around this red or this orange up here. My orange bled into this a little bit, but I don't want it to mess with my purple. So I'm just being really careful when I'm painting around that area. All right, I'm pretty happy with that purple, so I'm gonna leave it. Probably could be a little more blue, but that's okay. We're gonna leave it. I could do it forever. All right, uh, we're gonna wash our brush one more time because we're gonna grab our blue and we're gonna pull it up here to make the green, okay? The yellow is 
pretty dry right now, but we're gonna try to pull it up there with blue. We might just have to go back with yellow in a little while. It's kind of the beauty of mixing these colors is you can sort of go back and mess with it. All right, I'm just gonna go straight into this yellow up here with the blue. Um, because again, we're gonna try to make green in this area, so. And this is gonna be our yellow section. Oh, guys, look, I did it again. Oh, I'll have to fix that with yellow in a few minutes. All right, I think I was right about needing more yellow up here because it was so dry. So I'm gonna clean my brush really well because remember when we go into this blue, we don't wanna take, or this yellow, we don't wanna take blue because we're gonna turn our yellow green. Grab some yellow. There we go. You can carry it down into your blue a little bit, but remember you don't wanna completely do away with your blue here. All right, now that we've got more yellow up here and it's a little wetter, we're gonna need, uh, I think, a little more blue in that yellow. Not a ton, though. So, I'm gonna grab a little bit more blue here. And have it in here. Yep, there we go. We're starting to make a pretty green now. Oh, look, it's really pretty on the paint board. I can just get it that pretty on here. <laughs> All right, you guys can mess around with this a little bit longer to make it as pretty as you want it to be. I'm gonna move on just because I think this video is getting a little long. Um, but there we go. So now we've got our yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, and I have a little spot in the middle that I left um, white and that's totally okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and clean our brush. Um, then we're going to make a tree in the middle here uh, and it's going to take some doing because um, we're going to want to make brown which of course you're going to have to mix all three colors to do that so because we're going to be starting down here in this purple um, I think that I'm going to go ahead and start with yellow because it's our lighter color we're just gonna kind of make the shape of the tree first and then we're gonna go in and mix all of our colors so we get our brown. Um, you don't want your page to be super wet for this. So if you happen to have a really wet page right now, you want to, might wanna wait a few minutes to let it dry a little bit. Mine happens to be pretty dry, so I think it'll be all right. All right, so I'm gonna start with yellow. So I'm gonna dip myself into yellow. You don't want a ton of water on this to begin with though. So remember our tree is gonna start bigger at the base of it. And we are going to go up into um, the top here with our branches. So I'm going to start with my base down here. You don't want to take up your entire um, your entire purple. You still want to have purple. And then I'm going to grow the trunk of my tree up. And then I'm going to go up here with some branches. Your tree can look however your tree is going to look. Do not worry about it. They're all going to look different, okay? I'm gonna do a branch up here and then over into my green. Some branches going off maybe. Another branch over here. All right, I've made a decent brown down here. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. I think I'm gonna grab some more yellow and keep with that because the goal is kind of make your brown down here in the bottom and pull it up into your the rest of your picture, okay? Wash your brush first before you go back into yellow because remember, we don't wanna make our yellow a weird color. All right, I'm gonna dip into yellow, not a ton, but just a little bit, and make my brush wet again, okay? My yellow, and I'm gonna pull it up again. I'm gonna keep the same branches I had just because I'm pretty happy with the way my tree looks right now, okay? There we go. Here. My uh, brown is looking pretty yellow under here, <laughs> so I am going to add, I don't know, maybe a little more blue into it to take up in there. Let's see. Again, you want to mix your brown down in the bottom of the trunk before you pull it up. So if I put blue down here and it's too blue, which it looks pretty blue, I'm going to wash my brush really quick and I'm going to go in with a little more red and see if I can get a brown down here before I start pulling it up. Um, you can kind of mess with this. I'm going to do one more pass here and then be done just because the video is getting a little long. 
Uh, but you guys can keep messing with this until you're really happy with the way that your brown looks, okay? I'm gonna add a little more yellow in here. There we go. All right, now once I have a brown again, again, I'm pretty happy with the way my tree looks, so I'm gonna really be careful about keeping it in my tree here. All right, cover up that white spot right there. See how that white spot really doesn't matter so much now because um, you always wanna go from the bottom up. Try not to go from the top down, which I know I just did. Um, try not to though. All right, friends, you can keep messing with this as much as you want to see if you can make your tree look a little more brown. Uh, you can see my round looks pretty good over here, and it's not as defined over here. This was a lot wetter when I started than this was, so that's why I said to let it dry a little bit. Um, but yeah, that is the basic idea of this watercolor this week. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Of course, um, we will be watercoloring together on Friday as well, so which I guess is tomorrow um, when you guys see this video. So it's up to you. You can do it uh, with that or you can do it here. Not a big deal. Probably should have said this at the beginning of the video. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to clean up. The first thing you want to do is put the tops on these because you do not want them to spill. Um, but don't leave a mess, okay, guys? Make sure that you get everything nice and cleaned up. Wash your brush. You really need to take care of the supplies we have, okay? Um, thanks. I'll see you later. Bye.